Welcome back everybody. The Blade Engine is going along just nicely, with a few new features in place such as working teleport events, a super buggy blinker to make the player easier to see, and the first stages of a battle system being put into place. But this video isn't about all that. Today I want to teach you how to code the Blade Engine. So let's ask a simple question. How do you code a map? A map is a bunch of walls which make up any particular area. They stop the player from wandering aimlessly off the sides of the screen without guidance and provide a feel of the landscape. Just about everything that you can code into this engine is put into a giant cartridge at the back of the machine. This includes the map data. These two large blocks on the far side of the machine hold the map data. The blue one holds the horizontal wall data while the orange one holds the vertical wall data. In general, anything that is orange has something to do with up and down, while anything in blue has something to do with left and right. The dark green lines represent something that can be coded, in this case, whether there is a wall or not. Each map is made onto a slice of these giant blocks. Kavokamari is off screen right now, switching between these different maps. The map that is currently loaded onto the display is the one with the torch off on the green line. Each slice is given a number to call it by. For example, number 0 is at the very far left of our screen. Number 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on go onwards from there. To code a wall into the machine, torches are placed on the east side of the green blocks, over the blue or orange lines. When the map is loaded, these torches will turn on and say, there's a wall over here, to the display. Let's code some walls in now. If you look at the vertical walls block, you'll notice that it's 8 wide and 7 high. It's not a 7x7 seven seven like the display is. You'll see why in a second, but first, I'm coding in a vertical line of walls right now. You'll notice that all you have to do to make a wall is put a torch where you want one to appear. Let's see what our map looks like then. Ah, there it is. Notice how it's on the right hand side though? The machine flips the coding around, so remember to keep that in mind. And now for the horizontal walls. You'll notice that this slice is actually 8 high, 7 wide, instead of 8 wide, 7 high. The reason for this extra 8th piece on both of the different wall types is because there actually needs to be a padding around the edges of the movement tiles, as the walls go in between these tiles. Goody! So our map is done now. But how do I link it together with another map? In the previous video, walking off one side of a map made another one load. And that's exactly what this box is for. Remember when I said that every map is numbered? Well, this is where you use that number. Every map can be walked off from four sides, off the top, bottom, left or right, and onto each of those sides, you can code which map number you want to send the player to. In the Blade Engine, most numbers are expressed using a 6-bit binary format. Red is always the highest, followed by orange, yellow, green, teal, and finally purple with purple being the lowest. That is always kept throughout the machine. Let's start by coding where you would go if you went out the top of our map. Say, to map ID 13. 13 is made of 1, 4, and 8, so you put those over their binary bits on the green line. If you're going down, let's say you go to 14. So we'll add one to the 2, the 4, and the 8. That adds up to 14. And that's how you code maps into the Blade Engine. Next time I'll be explaining entities in more detail, and maybe version Dagger will be out by then, with working mobs. Alright, see you still next time.